Hi guys, so for today I thought I would share with you my capsule wardrobe. Now if you followed me quite a while ago you'll know that I was quite big on the whole like capsule, minimal, keeping it simple vibe. Then when I left university and had a full time income coming in, I just kind of got a bit spendy so my wardrobe got a lot bigger than it needed to and the capsule kind of got ditched. However, I have now bought back the whole like minimal concept because I actually find I go back to the same pieces quite a lot. So I tend to always go back to my jeans, my skirts, my plain tops, things like that. So I thought I would just show you my 10 key items for like a year round capsule wardrobe. So these are the pieces that always get replaced and always end up being worn the most, I guess. However, I do have other pieces that I add to this and I also have accessories and stuff as well. This is not the whole wardrobe. This is just the pieces that I wear the most and kind of like the base I guess you could say. So I'm just going to go ahead and go from the beginning of the rail with the piece that I kind of see as my most iconic and actually the most expensive in the collection and that is just my leather jacket which if you guys follow my blog you will literally have seen these pieces like time and time again but my leather jacket is my all time favourite piece. It's from All Saints, it's suede and leather and it's just so beautiful. This is really lightweight, it literally weighs next to nothing and it's the kind of coat that keeps me really warm but is also quite cool in the summer. So layering this up is really simple, you could chuck a t-shirt underneath, you could put a jumper underneath with a big scarf, basically whatever season you can just style it up how you feel best appropriate and I just love the biker style. This is one of the things that I think I will keep until I'm old because it just never seems to get old, if that makes sense. So the next item is the plain t-shirt. Now I actually prefer to buy these in grey, white and black because I think they're just the most effortless, they're the easiest to wear and they kind of go with the most, although I do occasionally buy like a camel one or something, but they're the three that I basically wear all the time. I kind of love the versatility of having the slouchier fit as well because not only can you wear it loose but you can wear it tucked in, you can tie it up at the front, you can pretty much do anything with it and it still looks quite cool. So the ones I've got are actually really inexpensive because I always find that through the summer and the winter I end up getting holes in t-shirts or they just go really out of shape so I prefer to buy cheaper ones and keep replacing them than spend a fortune on t-shirts because I have done that in the past and they've ruined just as quickly so it doesn't really work for me. So these two are misguided, exactly the same t-shirt in two different colours, it does come in quite a few other colours as well. So they've actually got the v-neck and they've got the kind of like permanent rolled up sleeve which I quite liked and these were literally like not even £10 each and I think they're probably the longest lasting in my wardrobe and they're so slouchy that it means that they kind of can fall off my shoulder or I can tie them up and wear them in so many different ways. And then this one was actually from Primark which is kind of the same so it's also a v-neck. This is a lot lighter weight and it's kind of a bit longer and I also wore this one tied up quite a lot on holiday. I just think it's so lightweight and easy to wear and Plain t-shirts are the kind of thing that I just live in. I think you guys will probably know this from seeing my blog, but I live in plain t-shirts. And they're good for the gym, they're good for if you want to go on a night out, you could just put them with like a leather skirt or something and some heels. The next piece is actually a black skirt, although I only really own a denim one and a leather one, but I thought the denim was a bit more appropriate for this video. So this is basically my denim skirt. I bought this probably about mm, three, four months ago from Topshop. And I know that they've had a style like this in for so long that it kind of never goes out. But this is basically just a distressed hem mini skirt. It's in faded black, so no matter how many times I wear it, it's faded to begin with, so it's not going to make a difference. And they're just really classic. I think depending on the kind of style that you like to wear, you could go for a more smart skirt, you could go for a pleated skirt, you could go for kind of any different skirt that you like, but I just found the denim mini to be the most appropriate to me. The next item that I have to have in my capsule is actually a sweater, and I actually chose this striped one for this video because I find stripes are just so timeless and so easy to wear that it kind of couldn't be missed out of this video. This one is actually from a brand called The Side Party who I will link down below. They're one of my current favourites and they do really good like minimal capsule pieces. This is literally just a really easy kind of towel lined sweatshirt, cropped sleeves, really really cute. This is so easy to style up for summer or winter because in summer it's so lightweight that it keeps me nice and cool but it's good for like the evenings kind of thing because obviously in the evenings on holiday it gets a bit chilly and in winter it's perfect to just layer up because everything can be layered up if you try. The next item I think you will probably see coming because if you followed me for a long time you will know that I live in black skinny jeans and this is going to be no surprise to any of you but black skinny jeans and white skinny jeans are my capsule wardrobe. Now these are actually both high waisted because I'm quite short so I find that the high waisted make my legs look a bit longer and I just think they're a more versatile fit because I can wear them with longer tops and you can't see they're high waisted or I can wear them with crops and obviously then they cover everything they need to cover 
but these are my personal favourites. They are both from Jack Wills and these are the Furnham High Waisted and they are honestly my holy grail jeans. I live in these jeans. You could also add a blue denim pair but I personally don't because I just don't like blue denim so that is my two favourites. The next item is my black dress. Now I feel like every girl kind of needs a little black dress in their life. This one is a Zara basic and it's just so comfortable. It's slightly bell sleeved and it's just kind of a swing dress with a little high neck and this is so perfect for the summer, it's fine for the winter if you wear it with tights and I've even worn this on nights out because I find that it's just so easy to style because it's plain black and it's just really flattering to my shape and it means I don't have to have 101 black dresses in my wardrobe that I'm probably never going to wear so this is perfect. Then the next item is a cardigan because I never really used to be a cardigan wearer until probably about the last year but this is honestly my most worn thing. If you're like me and you get cold quite easily it's really nice to just throw on a cardigan and I find that sometimes, I know I keep mentioning holidays but if I'm on holiday in the morning I like to just put a cardigan over my bikini just to eat breakfast and then I find it's really good for the evenings. I like wearing this instead of a coat because it's warm and it means that you don't have to layer up too much. They're basically just the most versatile piece and I actually really like this kind of oatmeal colour because I think it's so neutral that it just still goes with everything and it's not white because white is a nightmare, black I find too heavy as a cardigan and I just really liked the kind of mix between the two. And then the last item in my capsule wardrobe is actually right behind me and it is the long sleeve t-shirt. Kind of a pretty similar reason to the short sleeve t-shirts but having a long sleeve t-shirt is just so much more functional in the winter because T-shirts are great, but sometimes in England it gets a little bit too chilly and you just need that extra length. They're perfect for layering up and they're just kind of my favourite piece for the colder months. So I've actually got three different styles here that I wanted to share for the video. So the first is actually American Eagle. This has been in my life for quite a while now and it's so, so comfortable. I love it. So again, V-neck, I find them the most flattering to my shape. It's just a long sleeve, kind of like charcoal-y grey colour. Again, really loose fit because I can tie it up then, I can slap it off my shoulder, kind of wear it however I want to and it's really good for the summer as well with a denim skirt. This is actually my all time favourite which is the Stretch Crew from Primark. These are like, what, £3 and you can replace them so easy, they come in 101 different colours. This is literally my favourite style, they're tight fitting, they work great as a base layer if you need a bit of thermal heat under a jumper or something. and literally just the favourite top of all time and they're so cheap you can just replace them easily. And then the very last one is actually from Bershka which was a recent purchase this Christmas and it is just this ribbed black one with a slight high neck, again a timeless piece. So that's basically the key pieces in my capsule wardrobe. I'm going to be doing a packing video when I leave so you can kind of see everything that I chuck into my suitcase. I'm thinking about doing more of these kind of videos because I just find them really interesting to watch. And I feel like the whole minimalism trend is coming back around so I thought I would just share my take on minimalism. Again, I do have a lot of clothes still in my wardrobe but this is the basics that I stick to and wear probably the most out of anything else in my wardrobe. So that's that. I hope you liked this video guys. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to leave me a comment and tell me the favourite piece you have in your wardrobe that you keep going back to. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.